Well, we're in Paris, not Paris, France, Paris, Ontario. And it's their idea, their fault, if anything goes wrong. We have Christine here. She's the girl I'm dating. And my daughter in the back. Christine is uh, checking the itinerary? Is that what we're calling it? Yes, itinerary. Our itinerary. Yes. It's quite large. It is quite large. You're very organized. Yeah, got it all uh, here. So what are we doing tomorrow morning? Well, we're gonna go for breakfast. Turn right onto Wayne Gretzky Parkway. All right, Brenda. Brenda's still helping me. I'm trying to oh, pay attention. Oh, she's helping, all right. I'm trying to pay attention to Brenda uh, and you at the yeah, same Brenda's time. helped me have a nervous breakdown. Then use the left two lanes to turn left on. Oh, I gotta go this way. I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, yeah, Brenda. Gotta turn here. Oh my lord. All right. You know what? You have you you've taught me how to chill. I'm chilling. It's chilling time. It's good. Yeah. You deserve to chill. Yeah. Right, okay. I make sure I don't. Stay this, in the right lane. I say in the right lane at this, this time. Oh my lord. Here we are, the best western. It, and it is the best western. It's a, it's, a, it's a good hotel. Really good hotel. Okay. It's busy though. Holy job. Every, everything's busy around here. Busy, busy, busy. We're booking into the hotel. Okay, I just like to a question here. You have a backpack. Oh, Fancy Pants here has a roller. <laughs> And I got whatever was left over to throw things in. We got stuff. Look, there's a canoe. Cool. Where is it? Oh, chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, we got potato chips. We got, oh, we got a book. Oh, actually, I know this author. That's cool, it's a good book. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have our own YouTube channel and we get all that stuff given to us. Wow. Oh, I feel so bad for the neighbors. <laughs> you are really loud. This is cool. We got a whole bunch of stuff given to us. Thank you very much, whoever did this. Um, awesome. Oh, this gets even more interesting. What happened, Christine? I don't know. Brenda's gone. <laughs> like, I don't know where she's And why, why is Brenda gone? Um, because somehow I lost the GPS signal. We have no signal no. here, so Brenda's gone. Brenda is not <laughs> real, and she doesn't exist if you don't have. No, I think she just went on a on. break. <laughs> what was that, Mike? What would you do as a kid? You, you spent your time at the river. This is where you learned how to swim, and fish, yeah, canoe, raft, and other things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find out what that means later. We're gonna go for a, a tour around Paris no. <laughs> with Mike. Awesome. And this is just the first day of three exciting days. Oh, so this is where the Nith comes into the Grand? Yes. Oh, great. So, in the early days, this was the community, what was here was known as the Forks of the Grand. It wasn't until they started mining the gypsum deposits it was named Paris for the plaster of Paris which uh, which the gypsum was used for. Oh so it wasn't named after Paris of France? No. Oh what? No. Kind of, what have we learned so far? That it was not named after Paris France. Yes and what about the underwear? We're not gonna bring that up. So what's this all about Paris underwear thing? What's <laughs> Well, as I say, there's uh, Paris Penman's Mills was a major uh, supplier of underwear, long johns, and socks. I told you. I told you Paris was known for its underwear. I told you. <laughs> you and your underwear, Dad. Uh, John, my, my daughter wants to know if you have any of uh, Penman's underwear. No, we don't. No? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, Kyla, I told you people read my books. <laughs> like, look at this. And look at his view. Yeah. Like, wow, that is a nice view. Look at that. <laughs> See, I told you people in Paris were really awesome. That's right. So did you go uh, paddling on the, the ground a lot there, John? Or? A little bit, yeah. Yeah? Now, is this the guy that had 16 kids? Uh, no, this is the guy who, who was the builder, who did the cobblestone. Um, in Paris, uh, but Levi Bouton was uh, 
a, a family man <laughs> and raised 16 children, he and his wife. Yeah, I think his wife has something to do with that. that I'm not sure. So, Kyla, uh, can you imagine me, you know, thinking of Father's Day, whatever, having 16 kids? You can barely handle one. This is where the first long distance phone call made from Brantford to Paris occurred. The world's first long distance phone call. This is Chocolate Sensation. It's a local uh, uh, chocolate manufacturer. And uh, being a diabetic, I don't spend a lot of time in this shop, but I'm told <laughs> the chocolate is very, very good. They do have non-sugar or low sugar uh, chocolate in here, but I tend to stay out. If you'd like to go in for a quick tour, just uh, see if we... Where are we? We're at the Wincy Mill, downtown Paris. Okay, and this used to be the, the old factory. This right? the old uh, textile yeah. Uh, yeah. factory, yes. Wait, that, that woman is trying to avoid me. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> Listen, you can even get gluten-free sandwiches toasted here too, which is wonderful. I hope that's on there because people will be rushing in now. <laughs> I make one mistake and... It was a big mistake. <laughs> Brenda didn't tell me. No, because Brenda assumed that you would know to stay in the right lane. Yeah, but you see, that's what happens when you listen to Brenda. Like, if I didn't have Brenda, I would never have... Gotta go. Go ahead and grab an apple for later. These are, um, uh, uh, golden galas. They are really nice and tasty. How, how long has the farm been here? The farm's been here a long time. It was the War of 1812, where Howell was given a tract of land. He had, to, he had to choose whether here or the Hamilton area, he chose here. So our kids are eighth generation on the road. Jay grew up up the road on a dairy farm, and it was mixed farming, and they had some beef cattle, they had pigs in the past, but since we took over, Jay decided the only thing with the heart is our dog and the people here, and he's decided to specialize in apples. Now, it's nice to see the kids take an interest in, in the place, and in the fall, it's all hands on deck. We have nieces and nephews and aunts and uncles working here in the fall because we're busy. It's busy. <laughs> it's busy. So who, whose idea was the cider again, you're saying? Jen's. That, that's your daughter? Yeah, Jay thought about 10 years ago, but you did not have the opportunity you have today. With the um, Ontario wine, wines, you can now, they opened it to cider. So that means as a farmer who grows apples, we can get the license to ferment on the farm, which we do make the cider. We can sell it at the farm. We can sell it by the glass at the farm. We can sample at this farm and we can take it to any farmer's market we go to. Like that's the can right there. The kids de designed it. They made a little spiel on it. The big thing is this is her flagship, which is a general one. And then from there she can um, do different varieties of it. She has an all spy variety of cider and she has um, a Perry, which is pear, all Bartlett's. So it's all Ontario product. Some of the things like the rhubarb we aren't growing here, but as you walk by the apple shed, I have roots of rhubarb to plant. <laughs> so we can do that in the future, right? And we're getting our hops from next door. We have a neighbor up the road who has honey. So she's thinking of flavoring with honey as opposed to choosing sugar. Like some cider manufacturers are not using the cider, they're using apple juice, which has more sugar. Some of it, you read the can, it's 21% sugar. Ours, we have so little sugar, it's below the guidelines to mention. So that's a good thing. Often if it's got too much sugar, you get an aftertaste afterwards and your tongue's like, right? You would know because you're too young. <laughs> so two of you get to try this one. One of you gets the other. Thank you. This is probably only a mix of three or four blends of apples because we don't have as many this time of the year. True? If that's you want good. more, you can have more than... Is that got booze in it? Well, that doesn't know. <laughs> I have my, I have my own so delicious. Good? That's really good. Now the big question is, do apple farmers go paddling on the Grand River? Oh, we do. There's a canoe and kayak in the other room. So I, I don't have a GPS in my vehicle. I sort of just randomly guess how to get to places. I always have. Um, Christine 
does not. She lives by her GPS, and uh, this voice. Meters, turn left onto power line road. That's Brenda. That's what we're calling calling Brenda. I see you have to give that person a name, so we called her Brenda because she sounds like a Brenda. N nothing against, sorry, nothing against Brenda's. So we're coming back to the hotel uh, after going to the, the farm. Take the next left onto Power Line Road and turn right onto Wayne Gretzky Parkway. Thank you, Brenda. And we're going back a different way than we got there. And I, I said, well, that's kind of weird. And Christine goes, no, just Brenda's really bored with her job and likes to spice it up. <laughs> it's not a real person. <laughs> it's a machine. Take the next right onto Wayne Gretzky Parkway. Thank you, Brenda. Sounds real to me. <laughs> I got two more days with these girls. Parkway for three kilometers. Thank you, Brenda. Wow, thank you. That's a lot of cheese. Camp 31, amazing place to eat in, the, in this area. Amazing ribs. Uh, yeah, we had a blast. And that's hilarious. So, Christine and I have been dating since last August, right? Yes. Yes. And Sadly, uh, you don't even know Dad. <laughs> so, so I said, hey, how was the meal? Well, great, but oh, you know, we had ribs, we had baked beans and beer. You know, beer <laughs> and I went, what do you mean? She goes, well, I can't promise anything in the hotel room tonight. <laughs> hey, I'm in the same like, boat with you, Christine. You never know. See, it's not just me. I got these. Kyle's words. I have a little got, bowel, Dad. Oh my lord, you got a little bowel. Like for heaven's sakes, it's I'm a little nervous. You know, you've been dating for a while. You don't really don't talk about toots and things like that. Sorry, Christine. The there romance is gone. Pillow. I yeah. saw. The romance well. is gone. The romance. There is was gone. an auto man tonight. Remember right? that <laughs> thing is at the end of the bed? You can sleep there. Yeah, I don't think Brenda has the toots. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> she, she's yes. not real! <laughs> Hamilton? Really? This yes, way? correct. Thank you, All Brenda. Right. Thanks, Brenda.